That's making something amazing out of nothing. Okay guys, let's start this with the first shot. And the first shot I won, I want it to be the, the coffee bag. We're gonna do a stop motion. So we're gonna photo stack. We're gonna open up the, the coffee bag and then the coffee beans are gonna fly out. So that is the goal for this shot. Let's get started. But before that, I do need to remove a lot of the stuff in the background. That way it's a little bit easier to mask out and make the motion fluid. But yeah, let's get it. What we're doing right now is adding a little bit of fill light on the edge of it right there. As you can see on the far right side, if we take it away, it goes extremely dark. So what we're gonna try to do is fill it in a little bit. That is with it, that's without it. So maybe not too close, give a little bit of contrast, but something like that. Tape on it, because I don't want it to, I don't want it to move while I'm moving it. So this will give me an extra layer of protection. I know I didn't do it last time, but I know I should have. But we finally got this tape, so. But I know this is gonna save me a lot of time in the editing process, so I really don't mind doing it. Something like that. So on this part of the video, I am gonna bring my blue screen in. And well, we're going to, to do a little method of throwing the, throwing the beans up in there. That way it looks natural when they come out of the bag. What we're gonna do the bean toss is we're gonna get a little baggy. We're gonna put the beans in the middle and then pull them, pull each side and have the beans come out. So we're gonna have some of these beans on to here and then we're gonna do this. The beans should fly out and we should catch it. So we're gonna set the camera on the tripod and, and see how that goes. So let's go. So now the difficult part is uh, cleaning up because I made a mess. <laughs> There's beans everywhere. <laughs> okay guys, so this is day two of shooting. We just finished the shot with the milk and the coffee. We did 120 frames per second. We also did it at an 80 millimeter. And the shot looks like this, but because we're doing 4K, we are able to crop in a lot. So that, that helps us out a lot because we don't have a macro lens. To cover the reflections of the cup, so there was a lot of reflections coming out of this way. What we did here is we put a black cover, but we also uh, use our, um, our monopod that we use for real estate photography and covered most of it because of the white walls. Um, that's the reason that we would want black wash so there's no reflection, but sometimes you really can't do anything about it without uh, going out of your way to spend a lot of money on paint and doing it yourself. So this is helping us out a lot. And, and yeah, pretty much it. There's some shots that we haven't, that I haven't talked about, but I shot already. So we just shot also the shot of me talking, drinking the coffee. Some of the other shots that we did uh, the day before, I didn't really record us doing them because we had some personal business going and uh, I had to rush. 
a little bit. The transition of us pouring the coffee onto the glass was, was out of place because the transition between our, I know there's milk in there. We, we used it to pour it because of the tip, but where the empty, empty coffee uh, glass goes down and then it transitions onto the, to the coffee already there. There's no really good transition between the other one because we do want a little bit of a pause so you can see the liquid going side to side. But right now we are, we are finishing up. As you guys can see, I don't have my mic. I don't have a boom mic near me. I do have it right here. This is how you do it so you don't get no scruffs or anything like that. We don't want to put the little bubble protector on it because you're already getting the muffle out of the tape and the shirt so we want we want the we don't want too much of a of a noise reduction i blanked out i don't know what i'm talking about uh the last shot yes the last shot was uh important so the reason why i kept it out was so the viewer is not distracted on oh i see the mic i know what you're doing so that's the reason that we did it i don't have a boom mic so i, I had to rig it up with me a lot of people do that, especially for weddings. I've done it a lot. So the trick is there for you. But other than that, guys, that is it for me. I hope that you guys like this long video, the long-term um, video because, well, we're gonna be coming out with more. And if you're not a subscriber, make sure to subscribe because that, uh, that way I can put out more videos for you, more creative, more ideas so you guys can get inspiration. Um, share the video also because you never know who I'm going to inspire, but also it helps me again post more videos because more people are watching them. I am able to do more because then I can make it my full-time job. That's it. That's it. You want to help me for free? That's how you do it. But other than that, deuces. I'm out. Gang, gang. I'm out. something amazing out of nothing.